When the very first aeroplane from France landed near Dover Castle, a very great and wise journalist tore up the captions offered by his staff and wrote, Britain no longer an island. While the Nazi loudspeakers blared from Berlin, I had the privilege of gathering around me a team of brilliant and enthusiastic and tireless young men who did the work while I did the talking. We set ourselves the task of tearing up that caption and writing, as we have now written by radio location, a new one. Britain, an island again. But what Lord Northcliffe saw was that now the sky, every inch of the sky, is coastline. Every city and town is on that coastline. Every green patch is a possible landing beach. Every patch of cloud, a smuggler's cove, up which the king's enemies might run unseen their evil craft. Every inch must be watched and watched now by the radio locator. We want more young men in the back room. We want more girls on the front beach to join that legion of skilled and enthusiastic members of the Women's Auxiliary Air Force who are already doing the job and who have no complaint save one. They complain only if they are sent to a bit of the country where the supply of German aircraft is poor. We want recruits to enroll under the banner of the golden cock which crows and not in fear when the enemy approaches.